Hey guys, Steve Petrato here with Horizon Hobby. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Spectrum DX9 radio with your Blade 350 QX3. This is going to be good for the QX3, the normal edition without the, without the camera and also the AP combo. Keep in mind though, it's not going to work for your uh, QX2, so it's going to be a little different program just because this is the way the gimbal works on this one. Alright, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is uh, get my radio out and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on while holding the roller in and that will get me into my model select. So I went ahead and made a new model, but just in case you need to know how to do that, you can click model select, and you can scroll down to add new model, click that, and create a new model, and then you'll be, uh, you'll be given a new model. So we'll go ahead and just select a model that I made. Doesn't matter, we'll pick number four. All right, now that I'm in number four, I'm still in the system setup menu. I wanna scroll down to the channel assign, and that's going to be the first thing that we want to do. Of course, you can set up a, a name for the model too, but for the sake of time, we won't do that in this video. Uh, channel assign, click that. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to next, and because we don't need this screen, click that. Now we're going to clear out everything on here. So I'm just going to click down with my roller, hit clear, uh, scroll to the next one, clear it out. I want to clear out every single one of these because these are all going to get different assignments. And we just want to make sure that everything is inhibited if we don't need it. All right, so for the gear channel, we want to set up our flight mode switch. Um, so this is going to be on switch B. Uh, this is my preference. It's the same thing as helicopter flight modes. It is, in fact, uh, this switch right here on the top of the radio there. Um, as um, That's just where I like it. You can put it wherever. Of course, the DX9 is fully uh, assignable. So we have that on B. Then on AUX1, we want to set up our uh, lever or switch A. Again, you can, that's going to be this one back here. It's a two position switch. So we can just cycle that and the DX9 will select A. If you don't have the newest firmware, of course, just click and scroll to A. And then for AUX2, that's going to be our actual slider for the gimbal itself. Uh, you can put it on the knob or the left and right slider of the radio. It's up to you. I like it on the knob and it's also that way in the manual. For the, so I will go ahead and put that on knob. Again, we can just scroll over to right knob. Once we have that selected, everything in channel assignment is done. So we can hit the back button, go out of there. And now we can actually hit back again and go into the normal screen. So this, the radio will start up and start um, into its normal menus. Now we're going to go into throttle cut. So this is so we can turn the model off once we've started it. Click down once. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the bind button because I like it on the bind button. So click that once and that will turn it to switch I. Again, you can select it. Then you don't have to touch anything else. It's already set at negative 130%. And if you cycle the switch, you'll see that, that bar move, letting you know. And you'll also see it on the monitor here on the throttle drop down to, to the negative. So it'll, go, uh, it'll turn the model off. So that's set. We can hit back. Then we want to go into servo setup. And we're going to scroll. We're going to be on travel, so we don't need to scroll anywhere. And all we need to adjust here is the endpoints for AUX1. The low endpoint needs to be at 140, and the high endpoint needs to be at 120. However, you see this box here. If that box is not on the top one, you have to cycle your AUX1 to get that box to jump up and down just to be able to select it. So again, we put AUX1 on the A switch, so I'm just cycling that top left switch. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the low endpoint here uh, by pushing down on my roller and scrolling up to 140. And then I'm going to flip my switch, select the lower one, and I'm going to scroll that to 120%. All right, now I'm done there, and that would be it. All right, so that is pretty much everything you need to do for your DX9. Uh, it's really simple to set up, and of course you want to set up a name and all that. Um, and just keep in mind, the roller, the, the knob, we did adjust the gimbal pitch when you pull up your AUX1 switch. If the AUX1 switch is back, and you do the roller or the knob, it won't work, it won't actuate the pitch of the camera. So just keep that in mind, that's how this system works. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Uh, please check us out on Facebook at bladehelis.com or, of course, facebook.com slash bladehelis.